right, let's talk tropics. So this is PTC-1, Potential Tropical Cyclone 1. It's called that because it's not quite organized enough to be a depression or a storm, but they want to go ahead and get a cone on it because it's so close to land. And so that's what they do. Now there's a look at the convection around the center. It's not falling apart. The darker colors are colder cloud tops, which means stronger thunderstorms. And this is eventually expected to move to the north and the west. So we're thinking tomorrow night into Tuesday, into Wednesday morning, it's kind of in this area here, but it's already made the turn to the west northwest headed towards Mexico. Now, a lot of the moisture is going to be on the north side, and that's what's going to throw all the way into Brownsville. I think all the way up even to Houston is going to get some decent rain out of this. So the forecast models on it, you can see they're kind of taking it off towards the west. Pretty similar to what the actually the Hurricane Center forecast has, so that's pretty typical. Now, here's what it looks like. This is the European model. This is Wednesday. There it goes. Look what's happening over here. That's our other system, kind of bowling ball towards the Carolinas, but that one doesn't look to be that strong. In fact, only about a 30% chance of developing. For us, we've got some dry air working its way in, but look what happens by late this week, over the weekend, and the next week, we get some more moisture. That means more afternoon showers and storms. And then next week, kind of a, a, a pattern trying to repeat itself, which happens a lot. There's gonna be more moisture in the Gulf of Mexico, something for us to potentially watch, although don't look like development at this particular point. All right.